All right, let's have some fun with standard deviation. Okay, maybe it's not so much fun, but hey, let's at least make it bearable. Um, standard deviation is your friend. It can help you figure out how confident you can be in a prediction, how confident you can be in a, in a certain particular outcome may happen. So let's first figure out how this thing is calculated manually, and then I'll show you the automatic quickie way to do it in Excel. All right, so first thing I want to do is show you something real simple here. This is an actual photo of my refrigerator. I left for, for work one day and left my kids some, uh, some exciting fun to do during their breakfast. My youngest gave her a quick um, multiplication problem. The next oldest gave a little quick algebra problem. And then we have uh, my third oldest, just a little square root problem. Again, these are all elementary school kids. And now we have my middle schooler gave him calculate the standard deviation and the mean. And this can all be done with these uh, numbers. It can be done by pencil and paper. Take a while to do it, but not so hard. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to show you guys a quick, easy way to do it in Excel because I know you can handle it. And But you should, be, you should know how to do this and know how it works. All right, let's take a look quickly here at Excel. And if you remember what our values were, we have 9, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 7. And what we want to do is figure out the standard deviation, which is the amount that these numbers will typically vary around the mean. So first we've got to figure out what the average of these numbers is, and then we'll figure out about how much these numbers will vary around the mean. And when we know that, then we can make some predictions about uh, how often we think we'll likely pull a number out of a population that these numbers came from and how closely those would be to the mean and, and what percentage of them would fall between different ranges and some very important things that we need to do for simulation and a lot of, a lot of statistical analysis. So, in Excel, again, 957, 9117. So, let's put 957, 9117. Okay, so now we have our values. And we'll put that up here. And let's put our, let's calculate our average, which we would normally call our mean, but I'll just use the word average because that's the formula we use in Excel. And rather than teach you, I know you know how to add these up and divide by the number. So you'd add all those up and divide by 6, and we get the average. But let's just use the formula in Excel to do it quick and easy. So I type average, open parentheses, highlight them, hit enter. And if you remember, there's another quick way to do that as well. I can use this auto sum button, but if I do a pull down, I have average. And I can just select it that way. So now, again, we're trying to figure out how much each of these usually different or differs from this average value here. So let's just calculate it. So let's call it this difference. Difference. And we'll say equals 9 minus our 8. But this, I want to copy this. I'm going to use the absolute. Hit F4. Puts those dollar signs in there. And I'm going to drag this down. Now to calculate the standard deviation, I'm going to have to square these numbers which will make them all positive. And also, it'll make the ones that are really far away, it'll give them a little bit more weight by squaring them, too. So let's, we'll call those the squares. And we're going to take this number right here and multiply it by itself. I'm just going to use the square function. So I'm using the caret and the 2, which means take this number and put it to the, to the uh, power of 2. Now if I just drag those down, that's going to square those numbers. And now what I want to do in this case, now we have 191191191191. I want to go ahead and sum these up. I'm going to add them up because what I want to do is we want to get back and not square them anymore, but there's one trick. We don't want to just take an average of these guys and then square them. We've got a, a little trick that we have to do with standard deviation, which will deliver what's called an unbiased estimate. And I'll explain that more in class as we talk about um, bias. But I'll explain mechanically how we're going to do it, do it here. First, we're going to sum these up, and we'll use our handy sum function again. And you see we have 22. Now, in this case, I'm not going to take a simple average. I'm going to take, I'm going to and divide this instead of by 6 that we have here, I'm going to divide that by 1 less than that. We're going to divide it by n minus 1. n is the number of 
values that we have in our sample. In this case, we have 6. But we're going to divide in this case by n minus 1, or 5. And if you, if you think about it, if we had a million in our sample, we'd be dividing instead by, instead of a million, we'd be dividing by 999,999. It'd be about the same number. So as you can see, as n gets really, really large, having that little minus 1 doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. But it's been shown and proven that for smaller sample sizes, you get a much better estimate of standard deviation by using n minus 1. But as it gets bigger, it becomes less important. So let's just, in the interest of doing beautiful spreadsheet work, we're not going to plug in the number 5 in here. We're going to use a count. So we're going to take this number equals this number, divide it by, I'm going to open parentheses here, and I'm going to say count. I'm going to highlight all the values in my sample set. I'm going to say minus 1. So we have 4.44, or 4.4. But remember, these are all squares. And if I want to get back to my original values, which will be represented in this difference column, I'm going to have to take the square root of that. So there's a quick, simple formula in Excel for square root. It's SQRT, SQRT. I'm going to take this value here, put it in there, and say enter. Bam. Okay. So now we have 2.09762. Now for the moment of truth. Let's use the handy dandy Excel formula for standard deviation and see how I did. Standard deviation, STDEV. And now I'm just going to highlight these six values and hit enter. <gasps> Yay! I did it right. Now if you can see if I make both of these pretty big. You can see that even out to these number of digits, I've done it properly. So faith has been restored that I can actually calculate a standard deviation. Okay, now we're going to learn more in a later session about how we actually use standard deviation, how good it is, what it's for, but at least now you know how to calculate it. So if somebody were to ask you, Calculate a standard deviation out of these six values, ten values, whatever. You could do it manually if you had to. You could do it with pencil and paper and calculator. No problem. Okay, I'm signing off. Hope everybody had some fun with standard deviation. Okay, well, maybe it's not so much fun. But, hey, it wasn't too bad.